Greetings. This course on the geography of Iowa is a regional geography course based on the structure of a human geography course. I will guide you through what this means. First, of course, I want to talk to you about the texts we will use. The main text is Dorothy Schweder's book. Uh, it's the last one on the list there, uh, The Middle Land, which is very good about the early settlement of the state and the many different issues up to about 1992. For development since then, we need other sources. And one of them is the next book up, The Emerald Horizon by Cornelia Mutel, published in 2008. Her focus is the natural environment, beginning in prehistoric times, but continuing up to the middle of the first decade of the current century, but not covering the floods of 2008 or the drought of 2012. Karin Kefela's book on small towns in Iowa, Hollowing Out the Middle, published in 2009, addresses the way small towns promote an educational system that supports the best students moving on to lives in other places, but tends to neglect those students who don't do as well and stay in town. It is a good cultural analysis of small town Iowa. Finally, you have a handout that's pre-printed from Harold, Dil Harold Diltz's book on Iowa place names. I've given you only a little background on the names of counties. There's much more to say about the people, tribes, or places that provide names for our counties, which reveals important formative factors of the culture of Iowa. The study of geography is a study of spatial relations. Where are things or places or people in relation to one another? How significant is the distance between places? How accessible are places? Geography is interested in motion and speed as people and places connect with one another. You could think of geography as a combination of geometry and physics taking place on Earth, providing people with opportunities and barriers. When we consider our regional geography of Iowa, we're looking at many scales and criteria for determining regions within Iowa. We're also looking at Iowa in the Midwest region, which itself requires definition as a concept as much as a place. Iowa has legally defined borders, but the Midwest is subject to interpretation. Is Colorado in the Midwest? And Ohio too? Or neither one of them? Is all of Missouri or is all of Nebraska in the Midwest? only part of each. How would we know? We'll look at this more later. And then where is Iowa in the USA? We can look at this on a map and we can see it's kind of in the middle, or we can consider it historically and culturally. Is Iowa in the middle? Or is it maybe it's first and last? It depends on how you conceptualize the state. Where is Iowa in the world? Is Iowa dependent on the world or is the world dependent on Iowa? Hmm, interesting thought. Consider our agricultural potential and where it goes. Consider UNESCO's choice of Iowa City as the third city of literature in the world. Consider 15,000 bikers from all over the world and country and world participating in RAGBRAI. Consider the loan of Muka's art from Prague to the rebuilt Cedar Rapids Czech and Slovak Museum. Place is the companion term to region. What is place? It has a more personal meaning than region. A place like the home you grew up in is full of memory and hope. A place is in our imagination in the sense that we visualize it in our minds. We have images of it based on personal experience or visual or written descriptions. We have a sense of place. Okay. So how do I stop this? No, right.